So I saw this offer on Wish for a 2 terabyte USB 3 stick. Sounded a little bit too good to be true. I didn't even know a 2 terabyte USB stick even existed. But let's have a look if it's fake. And it's just come here. Uh, so let's open it up and see if it's good. I'll do two of them. Uh, it comes in this package here. stick I wonder let's have a look in some further details we look here it is this is the U disk and if we look further down we can see that it is actually a USB 2 drive not a USB 3 and um, I can see that clearly and even looking at the actual connectors within the physical USB connector, I can see there is actually a USB 2 drive and not a USB 3 drive as described. So just uh, raising it now, it has come up as a 2 terabyte volume and um, let's see, it's just erasing now, it's taking a little bit longer than I would expect. It took a little while longer than expected, but it has come up and said it's initialized and the mounting was successful. So now we're going to try and copy some data onto it and see if it can handle decent size of information up to 2 terabytes. It's coming up as a 2.1 terabyte. Um, copying some data across and so far it's going a little slow. The data transfer speed appears to be quite slow on this drive and as you can see it's getting about three, not even that sometimes, between one and three meg per second, um, sometimes even less. You can see the this is moving very slowly, which is copying about 300 gigs worth of stuff. Extremely slow copying, sometimes even pausing. That is very slow. We'll wait and see how it goes and I'll report back. So you can see now it has speeded up. So it's now copying about 14 megasecond, which is a lot better. Let's see how long that lasts. So let's just do a quick uh, speed test disk speed test on this read and write uh, USB. So I'm starting the test now. As you can see the write is extremely slow. Just going to do another test. It's really struggling. This is after copying a significant amount of data to it, but there's still plenty of free space. If we look, we can see there's still 1.83 gig uh, terabytes available. Sorry, I'm going to wipe it and then try again. Let's try again. We're gonna. Um, I just wiped it. It was causing little problems actually. I was struggling to erase it. Well, let's try again. I have erased it now, so let's do a just speed test. Looks a little bit better. But it looks like maybe when there's data on it, it does struggle. It looks pretty normal for what you'd expect from a cheap USB drive. Let me just do another test. Again, looks around the same.
sometimes you get the occasional burst of data but uh, that looks around looks about normal for a cheap USB what you'd expect so as you can see from here I've uh, copied quite a lot of data I copied about 360 gigs of movies and stuff so on the left you see the um, source and on the right you see the destination it looks like all the files are there and um, it looks pretty normal but once you actually take a closer look I'm going to do some comparisons if I take a very large file for example sometimes over 4 gig it does struggle but in this case this 8 gig file plays fine on the source even when I skip through the movie the source is fine as you would expect if I look on the destination which is a 2 terabyte USB stick Here again, it's playing fine. I skip through it, it all plays fine. A different example, for example, this Alien 4 plays fine on the source, but on the destination, even though it's there, the file is invalid. So this file is corrupted and I found this with quite a lot of the other files which means that this 2 terabyte can really be no more than a 256 gig I mean even if it's that it's probably not even that it might even be a 64 or 128 maybe even less but I found this with a lot of other files were corrupted which proves that this is a counterfeit fake 2 terabyte USB